Hi everyone, this is Amanda from Echo Consulting and today I wanted to quickly go over the user interface or the user experience when you're working in Asana. So today I've got open the Asana browser version, um, but there's also an Asana desktop app. Now the user interface is going to be pretty similar between those two, the browser and the desktop version. But just so you know, you can work either way on the desktop or in the browser. And then I also, just as a note, um, have my Asana set up in dark mode, but there is also a light mode option in Asana. So we're gonna start here in the home screen in Asana. This is usually where Asana navigates to when you open it up and log in. And so this is actually a pretty good introduction to what most of Asana is gonna look like as you're navigating through it. The pattern in terms of where things are is really similar, which makes it really intuitive to use. So when you're looking at any screen in Asana, but again, in this example of a home screen, the sort of main frame that you're looking at, this is where I like to think of it as all the content that you're working with. And when I say content, I mean your tasks, your kind of the nitty gritty of your projects, your messages, any files that you have in Asana, your dashboards for reporting, anything like that that's gonna live here in the middle of the screen. And that's really where we work with that content. So right now, actually in home, you'll see that there are widgets here um, that you can actually customize. Many things in, us, in Asana, you can customize what you want to see and where you want those things to go. So actually I can click and drag these things around. Um, and so there's a lot that we can play with and sort of make it personalized in Asana, but again, We've got kind of the big window in the middle. And then if we look at the sidebar here, this is where we get access to some of the additional features of the Asana interface, as well as your project and team structure. So when we look at the, to the top sort of third of this sidebar, these are all additional features or kind of spaces that you can work within. So we've got my tasks, inbox, reporting, portfolios, and goals. Now, no matter what level of subscription you have in, in Asana, you'll have access to the top three of these, your home, your tasks, and your inbox. These bottom three, they'll show up as an option no matter what your subscription level, but in order to utilize these functions, you'll likely have to have a, uh, a paid subscription. So whether it's premium, business, or enterprise, at least right now, that's how Asana has it set up where to access these features and really utilize them. It's just part of the paid subscription. But again, they'll always show up in your, in your sidebar here. And then when you look at the bottom sort of two thirds here, you can see that we start to get into the organization of work in Asana. So Asana has a structure where it utilizes teams and then within teams we have projects. And then within projects, you'll see that we have tasks and we have uh, milestones and we have dependencies if you have that built into your um, paid subscription and things like that. So you can see here that I've set up two teams, both of them, I'm the only member of the teams. That's me if you kind of scroll over that little circle. Um, but so I've got a team here that's called Marketing Content Home and then a team that's called Marketing Internal. And you can see right away when I click those teams, this middle screen looks really similar to the Right. So if you think of this as your home, when you hit home of your account and all of your tasks and things like notes that you have to yourself, your goals, that sort of stuff. When you click on the team, it's the team. So really, really similar look and usability, just kind of more specific to this team. If there were other people in this team, they would show up here in the, in the team home, as well as as little sort of thumbnail circles underneath the team name. And then when you get into the teams, you start to look at projects and that's what these little kind of lines on the sidebar are. We'll go through these a little bit more in a moment, but just so you know, these are called projects. Again, this is a team, right? And then you can toggle those open or close if you wanna kind of minimize the stuff in the sidebar. And then these are more like functions or spaces to work in. Now, a note about our sidebar here, you can actually toggle it to hide as well. So as you're working through Asana, I think it's just really helpful to know some of these kind of little built-in functions that actually make a big difference. 
So if you click in the browser version, if you click this little three lines here, it'll hide the sidebar. That gives you more space to work. All right, and then you can click it again to open it up. Um, that looks a little bit different in the uh, desktop app. It's just, I think it's just about right here. It's a similar icon, it's just in a different spot. Okay, so, so far again, we've gone through these functions, these spaces to sort of work in, in Asana, get different information. Um, we've got teams, and then we've got our projects. Now let's take a look actually at a project. So right now I'm gonna open up a project that actually has more things in it. Let's see. It's a big one for us to look at. Let's do content library. Okay. So actually it's a little <laughs> that's a little overwhelming. We'll just stick to email marketing. Um, so right now I just have a sample task here um, to make a newsletter, but let's sort of ignore this for a moment because I want to go over this top menu. So when you click into a project, you'll see that it shows you all of these additional options at the top. It shows you the title of the project. You can favorite the project. There's a whole lot of things you can do here. You can see who's in it. You can share it, all that stuff. Much of these buttons at the top are actually different views to look at your project. So you have an overview that, again, it looks very similar to the home option right, that you find here or when you click on team. You can view your project tasks and sections and such as a list. You can view it as a board, as a timeline. And so if you're familiar with Gantt charts, a really similar concept. This is just gonna load for a second. Okay, so it shows you just like where that is in the timeline. You can view it as a calendar. And you can also set up workflows. Now, again, some of these things are going to be accessible only from a paid subscription. So workflow and timeline are two of those things that uh, you just need a paid subscription to get to it. But you'll still see these options here. Dashboard is another one of those things that uh, relies on a paid subscription. And then you've got messages and files. So one of the big benefits of using Asana is that it gives you a lot of options for viewing your tasks and your projects. And that really tends to help teams who have a lot of people that are working on a project together uh, and just need to look at that information or data or whatever it is in different ways. So let's navigate to a project that has a little bit more stuff in it and see how this plays out. So I'm going to go back to our, let's go to our content library. So in Asana, again, you can customize a lot of things. One of the things you can customize is your default layout. So if you toggle over here to these three dots, you can see save layout as default. That means that every time you enter this project, it'll show up as this first. I've got it set up as a board right now. And so this is a really great way to set up a pipeline. Um, I have this more as categories of content for this, um, for this project, but I believe our social media calendar is set up as a pipeline. Yes, yeah, so you can see really similar. I just have it organized different, but if you're familiar at all with boards and cards, anything sort of like Trello or some of those um, other, a lot of project management software now have a board function, um, but I really like Asana's mostly because it's really easy to navigate to, it's really visual, and you can move these sections around really well. So just again, sort of an open um, kind of blank slate for customization. So we've got this view. Um, if we look at our list view again, this is also really helpful for task management. Um, so Asana allows you to set up um, section headers as a way to organize your tasks. Um, this can also be a great way to sort of make mini projects within a project. So right now I have a section header for video content, um, and then I've got all these kind of video titles in here, and then blogs, graphics, newsletters, etc. So that's what the list uh, option looks like. We'll make some more videos in the future about really getting into the nitty gritty of, of uh, customizing these views by adding in different fields and such. But for now, just know this is what the list format looks like. We saw boards already. Again, we've got this timeline feature here. Again, this is just gonna take a moment um, just because I haven't looked at the timeline in this project yet. So it just has to populate. And then another thing that's really nice about Asana is that their calendar function is really great for looking at a long kind of list of, of um, things that need to be done over time. So actually, if I go to content overview of calendar, that's a nice way to show how you can see all these tasks and projects kind of play into each other. 
Um, again, workflows. I don't have any workflows set up. Um, that's a separate video, but it is an option as a view. Dashboard is your sort of status of things, customizing all these and then all these other options at the top. So I think that's most of what I wanted to share for now about navigating Asana. I think the best way to learn this is really to get in there and just kind of start adding tasks and adding projects and making teams and testing these things out. Uh, but we do actually have quite a few videos on our YouTube channel for Echo Consulting that really talk about how to best utilize Asana. Um, and so if you are looking for more information about this, definitely head to our YouTube channel. And if you have any video requests, if you'd like to know how to do a certain thing in Asana, definitely just head over to um, our website. You can send us a note there or just message us through YouTube or LinkedIn or anything like that. We'd love to make some content that helps you really find your flow in Asana. So that's all for now. I hope that getting a little bit familiar with Asana helps you streamline your project flow. Uh, and again, check us out on YouTube.